Change is a coming to Elementor users. That's what this video's about. There's a new version right around the corner. Elementor 2.4, it is coming. We're gonna go over some of those changes because a lot of things change in this update. We're gonna cover that in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you don't wanna miss a thing, click on that notification bell. Well, let's jump on into this one. Here's this email that went out to all the beta testers, and I'm one of the beta testers. Anyone could actually be one of the beta testers for Elementor. And to make sure that I hit on everything, I'm gonna go through this email and actually we'll go through and see what this actually looks like. So the first thing that's coming up, well, just so you know, at the bottom of this email, it says this is coming out probably around the 14th of January. So these changes are coming soon. And what's really cool is there's an Easter egg that they left in there. And for those of you that are not in the biz, that means there's something coming that's not listed here, but there's a little clue. And we'll look at that at the end end of this video so let's just blast through this so we know what's coming uh okay so they finally added a safe mode and so what this means is those times when you're in elementor and you are clicking on edit with elementor and it just stays at that loading screen well they added a safe mode now so that with that happens you can enable that and you can debug what's going on and what's causing that problem and it's usually just a plug-in conflict so let's go ahead and take a look at how to turn that on and off. So if we go to Elementor, we go to Tools, the option's going to be right here. It's a safe mode. We can just enable that. Click on Save Changes. Now what it says is when we go into Edit a Page Next, we'll get a little notification to let us know that safe mode is enabled. Uh, but this will only affect you, the admin user. It's not going to have any kind of negative effect to anyone that's logged into your website. So what we can do then is let's uh, go to the front end of the website. I'll do a quick refresh and then I'm going to click on edit with Elementor and let's see if it gives us that safe. Oh, there it is. Safe mode is on and it gives us some information here about how to troubleshoot to make sure that we get this working. So I don't have a plugin that's going to cause a conflict to really put this to the test, but I'll be putting out a troubleshooting video for Elementor very soon. Okay, so that is actually really cool I think that's gonna solve a lot of problems and look out in the future for a video on how to troubleshoot everything so let's go ahead and undo that all right we will do that and let's continue scrolling so there's some improvements to the way Elementor will actually update on your site there's some technical logging updates there's some updates regarding read more tags and that's when you're on an archive page and it shows for say your blog and it shows a list of blog posts and then there's that read more button. Not that interesting stuff, but this right here is probably one of the more interesting updates and that is mobile responsive settings for background images. Let me show you that in action. So we have this beautiful site and there's a lot of images on this site, right? So we have this big hero image here and then there's that image there on the background and there's just image after image. This right here is my favorite when you scroll, you can see it right there. I love the way these images came out. By the way, this is one of the free Astra starter sites. So let's go ahead and click on edit with Elementor and I'll show you these new controls that you have. It's just improving the mobile responsiveness. Uh, if you have a lot of background images, it's gonna come in handy. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in say mobile view and here we have it and it looks great already. I mean, this, this does look pretty good to begin with. So you can see the image kind of cut the woman off. She, she just got cut off there, but maybe that's not what you want. You want this to be in a different position. So what we can do is go into the background setting, settings for the section, click right here, click on style, and you can see that the image and the position attachment repeat and the size all now have dedicated settings for mobile devices. So with this, you could use a different image if you wanted, or you could do what I think most people are gonna do is just adjust the position. So if I go to position, uh, here's the different positioning spots. 
center, center, top left, top bottom, all that kind of stuff. Actually, there is no top bottom. Anyways, uh, so uh, right now it's just the default position, but maybe I might want it to be center right and pull the woman in a little bit more. So when I change it to that, you see how she just slides right on into the picture, or I might want her out entirely. And that would be in this situation, center left. And all you see is her hand right there. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, anyways, so you now have these controls that you did not have before uh, when it comes to positioning. And you also get it for borders and things of that nature. Less interesting stuff right there. But this is actually really useful to improve the user, uh, the mobile experience that you are giving the people on your website. All right. So let me go ahead. I'm going to get out of here. And there's going to be some changes to how your dashboard looks. So let's take a look at those. Elementor settings have been bumped up. They used to be down here near settings. Now it's been bumped up and it's going to be above appearance. So depending on all the plugins and the menus and all that that they add on your website, it might look a little different for you, but it's uh, Elementor is moving up in the world and it's moving up in your WordPress dashboard as well. Now, the bigger change is before, and they've changed this like every six months or 12 months or so, uh, they keep moving around where the templates go. So it used to be called, I think it was my templates, and then they changed it to my library. And now, before you used to have them tucked in here under the Elementor settings, they plucked it out and gave it its own spot right here where it says template. So now it has its own dedicated spot. And I think this, well, if you look in the, the email here, what's interesting is they say down here, it says, right here, let me highlight it. it, says, one of the reasons for this separation of the library is its expansion, a super exciting new direction that is coming soon. So you read that and it's like, what the heck are they even talking about? Uh, I'm going to get back to that in a second. Uh, so uh, you can categorize your templates now. They added quick edit. That's the same thing for posts or pages, quick edit, where you can just change the name of something really quick or change the status of it from publish to draft. So they added those options and then there's other various tweaks and fixes and all of that. Now let's get back to that. So I told you in the very beginning that they left an Easter egg and, uh, Actually, it wasn't that much of a surprise to me because I pay attention to what's going on with Elementor and they were talking about this a few months ago. So check this out. If I'm back here, here's my templates and I click into templates. There's something there that was not there before. And if you look right here in the left column, we have theme builder that's been around and we love the theme builder. It's only a pro feature. And when you click on it, it takes you on over to get the pro version. But check this out pop-ups. This was not there before. This is brand new. And I'm wondering if this is a piece of this new direction. I'm not letting out any kind of secrets. I mean, it's obviously here in the beta for people to see. It's obvious. Uh, they were actually talking about it a few months back that this would probably be coming at some point to Elementor Pro. And it looks like that this is finally going to come to Elementor Pro and that's native pop-ups. And I think that that's something that that it's going to be great to have in Elementor Pro. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can visit the link in the video description box or go to wpcrafter.com slash Elementor. I have a course called, Ele I'm rebranding and re-recording it actually this year. It's called, it used to be called Elementor Essentials, rebranding it Elementor Accelerator. And it's an acceleration training program. I actually give that away to people for free when they end up purchasing Elementor. Uh, just click on that link or go to that link and you'll see all the information about it. But I'm pretty darn excited to have pop-ups. That's just one less plugin you need on your site. And I think that Elementor has this new direction that they've been going on towards adding marketing features to Elementor. We saw this last month. I still need to make a video on it where you can get some personalization. If you ask someone their name in a form, you can then take their name and you can populate it on other pages on your site. So they're doing these things that will give you more personalization features that will help with marketing on your website. And I am couldn't be more excited about that. So I'm very happy that they're bringing pop-ups. I think it's going to be very 
interesting to see how they do it. And I think that for me, I'm going to love this because I like using Elementor. I'm very comfortable in it. And so when I want to go and make a pop up, uh, I would prefer to be able to do that with Elementor. And I like how they're making it this kind of separate experience. It's not like some of the plugins where uh, the add on plugins add it as a module and it's kind of designed inside of a page. I think this is going to be a much better path forward for pop ups with Elementor. I'm excited excited to see it. You can guarantee that when they release a beta for Elementor Pro, I think that might be 2.4 as well. I think the numbers are in sync again. Uh, I'll be having some uh, videos here and some tutorials and trainings on how to get the most out of it, not just how to create the dang thing, but how to get the most out of it and use it in creative ways to delight your website visitors. All right, that is all that I have in this video. Remember to, uh, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up or consider giving it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and click on that notification bell. Let me know what you're excited about in this new update that's coming out in the video description comment area comment, not description, comment area down below. A little rusty. It's brand new year. Uh, just getting started here. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.